Time now for your first morning weather university lesson of the day. We're talking about the Gulf of Mexico, obviously close to home. It is part of the Atlantic Basin, surrounded by about five or six of our United States. Uh, consists of shallow continental shelf water. So that's important too, because you know, when it comes to these shallow waters, that allows these hurricanes to gain strength, allows that storm surge to grow. And it's the warm waters right up against the coast here that can be about five degrees warmer than what we see in the Atlantic. So typically those Atlantic waters in the in the uh, summer can be in those mid 80s. The uh, Gulf of Mexico coastal waters can get upwards of 90 degrees. I mean, that's like bath water, right? Uh, but we're talking about the Gulf of Mexico today because it nicely ties into a weather blog that meteorologist Nick Bannon wrote uh, yesterday about a so-called dead zone. Yeah, a dead zone is basically kind of the lack of oxygen killing mm -hmm. a lot of the wildlife. And uh, some aspects from it are, are natural from uh, basically just the, the runoff of water that doesn't have any salt. So the, the difference in uh, natural kind of spring-like water mm -hmm. versus salt water, the differing uh, densities can actually kind of cut off and prevent any mixing from occurring. You know, water, a body of water loves mixing and that can help uh, kind of aerate it create oxygen and really support wildlife. But uh, some natural, uh, you know, a lack of mixing again can prevent us uh, and also encourage uh, death of uh, some of the wildlife. So we see that naturally, but also unnaturally is all the, uh, you know, runoff from the farms and agriculture mm -hmm. that feeds into the Mississippi River in particular, mm -hmm. and all basically pollution and, uh, you know, pesticides and things like that can also impact uh, what is going, of course, into the Gulf, and that can really expand this dead zone. Right, yeah, so it's those nutrients in these fertilizers, in these pesticides that are getting into the Mississippi watershed, feeding into the Gulf of Mexico, and basically sucking out all the oxygen out of that water, and it's killing marine life. So that's right. why they were calling it the dead zone, and this is not something that's, you know, a one-of-a-kind deal. This happens every single right. year to the point now that NOAA is actually putting out forecasts for this dead zone. How big is it going to be this year? And what they're using is rainfall in the Mississippi right. watershed, right? You see more rain falling into that watershed. Obviously, you're going to see more runoff and the greater uh, size of the dead zone. Yeah, and the nutrients are actually creating uh, a surplus of the algae growth, and they quickly they quickly grow, but then they quickly die and then sink down to the surface again, uh, limiting that oxygen supply. You can find out more information up on our website, kcan.com.